Um, thanks for the nomination and giving me the opportunity to present my thesis. Here, uh, the title is Assessing the Potential of Using Blockchain with Digital Twins for Buildings. Uh, despite the effort of governments to push for zero emission buildings and introducing different energy labels, the construction industry is still not ready to move toward this goal. And the progress is very slow. Uh, this could root, to, root in the challenges the fragmented industry is facing, like um, low level of uh, collaboration and trust, um, delayed payments, and traditional practices like bidding for the lowest construction cost, where the designers and engineers don't take, to, take into account the cost of the building in its whole uh, life cycle. Uh, apart from the managerial, uh, apart from the uh, managerial approaches, new technological development also uh, offer promising methods to support better form of collaboration, information sharing, and transparency in different industries. Uh, the most prominent technological development um, helping digital transformation in construction industry are BIM, IoT, and blockchain. Uh, different papers and consultancy reports have characterized blockchain as the component of trust. This trust component can make a revolution in design, engineering, bidding, and procurement processes and enable long-term contracts. Uh, in the paper, the, a solution to the trust uh, problem, the author suggests by using this uh, new um, disruption, the, um, the true invisible um, uh, value of design and engineering can be assessed uh, throughout the life cycle of the building and the participant can be rewarded uh, and through a structured collaboration, the participants will be motivated to create a superior outcome. As an instance of a digital, digitally transformed long-term contract, one can imagine a performance-based contract, which pays and rewards the engineer or the construction company according to the true value of engineering, which can be assessed only in the operational phase. So based on this introduction, the aim of this study is to assess the potential of leveraging the outline tools in improving the construction industry's collaboration to create a superior outcome. Uh, let's have a sh short look at each of the introduced technologies. BIM offers the accurate static data like size, material, location, and geometry-based information. And IoT offers real-time data from the uh, devices and sensors available in the building. These two together can complete each other and visualize the building the way it is understood by its occupants. Um, for example, uh, you would know the rate of the occupancy in each room, uh, each room of an office building, or you, you would see the electricity consumption of different appliances in the building. Um, so BIM and IoT together can make a digital twin of a building, and digital twin is described as a virtual representation of a physical asset with all of its characteristics. Mm, I skipped this slide as Tobias already uh, gave us a very good overview of blockchain technology. Um, um, in, in a paper, uh, the author has clustered the applications of blockchain in construction industry. Uh, most of the listed applications in, uh, in the first three interfaces um, are covered and studied in literature. There are proposals for using blockchain for supply chain management or beam workflow or automation of payments and helping the contracts in integrated project delivery. But uh, in the first interface where the, uh, where the integration of, uh, of all the three technologies happen, there are few papers available. And, um, and reviewing those papers uh, showed that as the topic is still unmatured, most of the articles uh, are limited 
to theories and uh, framework proposals and among the papers with practical approach, a use case focusing on incentivizing the participants in the industry for a better design, build, operate and collaboration is not established. Um, there is one example which considered using blockchain for energy performance contract, uh, but uh, only involved facility manager and didn't have uh, metrics uh, for um, engineering, uh, uh, for evaluating the value of design and engineering. But uh, energy performance contracting has the potential to be applied across phases and include metrics for design and engineering as well. Due to this research gap, conceptualizing and prototyping a cross-phased thermal, thermal perform, performance-based contract, which evaluates the comfort of the indoor air and also the energy consumption of the building, uh, is the focused aim of the study. Um, our case study is done in collaboration with Siemens. Siemens uh, uh, Building Twin is a platform where client can create the digital twin of the buildings. Uh, this is the architecture that is designed for the proof of concept. In the physical board layer, we have the participants, the building and its IFC file containing the static data and the sensors available in the building which transfer real-time data to the Siemens Building Twin platform. The um, blockchain is coded in a serial environment and the, uh, the participants can interact with the blockchain using front end and the back end oracle transfers real time data from Siemens building to into the blockchain. Uh, for the proof of concept, I have coded the smart contracts uh, front end and back end. Um, this, uh, this diagram shows the steps. First, um, the user, the building owner should be added to the blockchain as a user to be able to insert the needed information for thermal performance evaluation in the blockchain. After a uh, building is added to the blockchain, the evaluation starts in order to have access to the uh, live sensor data in Siemens platform a token uh, is needed so uh, the back end receives the token and uh, the token uh, is added to the api call to retrieve live data and then transfer the live data um uh, tra uh, transfer the live data and store them on blockchain after the duration uh, of the contract all the stored data on blockchain will be analyzed and the amount to be paid to each participant will be calculated and paid Um, the smart contract has two assessment tasks. First, uh, first thermal comfort assessment and second, the energy consumption assessment. Uh, by, test, uh, by setting logic behind different factors, uh, factors needed for these two assessments, the smart contract identifies the failures for the construction company and facility manager involved in the project and um, in case of shortcomings. Um, a simplified predicted mean mode method is taken for comfort assessment, uh, which uh, takes the relative humidity and temperature level as factors. Another important factor for, uh, for indoor air comfort uh, is the CO2 concentration. Um, for energy consumption assessment, the actually uh, the uh, the simulated or agreed value is compared to the actual energy consumption um, and in case of uh, difference the guilty party uh, would be identified. Uh, the linking factor to these two assessments uh, is the room set point temperature in the automation system. Uh, uh, it, it, the role of um, set point temperature in thermal comfort is obvious and uh, in case uh, we have high room set point temperature, uh, it will uh, increase the whole energy consumption of the building. Um, here I have to switch to my other monitor. Um, uh, 
I will share again. Okay, we see. Yeah. Okay, this is a short video. This is a Siemens uh, digital twin platform here. The user can create a building and name it, give it address uh, and so on. Um, there is a file structure there where um, the IFC file can be uploaded. This is the IFC file of an office building uh, in Vienna. Um, the IFC file will be uploaded um, on the Siemens Building Twin platform. And uh, after the upload, um, we just press Create Digital Twin and a Digital Twin will be created. This is uh, the representation of the Digital Twin and we have the floors, rooms, sensors available in the building and the live data from different sensors like room temperature or air quality. Um, here is the blockchain side. Here I'm deploying the smart contract into a test network. It's Rinkeby net network. And here we see the transactions um, cr created after the deployment. Um, this is the user interface, the front end that I have coded. Uh, so we switch to the, um, first we add the building owner as a user. The building owner is added. And um, then we switch to the building owner's um, account. The building owner would add the needed data for the thermal performance evaluation. And the most important one is the building ID from the Siemens platform. We would need the list of devices, uh, technical ID of the devices, the agreed um, energy consumption rate, and some deposit from building owner's account to be paid later to the construction co company or the facility manager. Okay, the, we see the transactions added after adding the building owner and the building. And here the real time, the data streaming started and we are adding data from the Siemens platform to the blockchain. This is um, the back end terminal. Yeah, so I switch to the other screen again. Yeah, um, deploying the contract and running the test for winter time period proves that implementing the proposed concept for cross-based thermal performance-based smart contract uh, with the introduced architecture um, is feasible and will have a fluent data flow from the digital twin uh, to the blockchain and the evaluation and the corresponding payments will be done safely. Uh, but how would this solution influence the current business model? Uh, in the current tradition, the construction cost and the salary uh, of the construction company is paid at the end of the uh, construction phase. And the cost of the energy and salary of the uh, facility manager is paid monthly or yearly. Uh, but usually the facility manager only care about the comfort of the occupants and don't engage in keeping the low energy consumption rate. Um, 
Yeah, adopting the thermal performance based contract has the potential to align all the uh, participants' goals for lowest lifetime costs and higher comfort. And uh, the terms of the contract would be uh, defined um, in the concept and design phase. The smart contract can uh, uh, smart contract can postpone extra construction costs and extra salary of the construction company to the operational phase where the performance of the building is approved. Similarly, the salary of the facility manager would be paid upon uh, the approval of the thermal performance of the building. So when uh, it is approved, um, the amounts will be calculated and um, paid automatically to facility manager and construction company. Uh, to validate uh, the assumptions taken throughout this project and judge the potential improvement that this solution brings to the pra uh, practices in the industry short survey with 10 participants from the industry and academia is done, the results suggest that almost all the participants like the solution and are willing to use it. They also thought that the imagined um, uh, energy savings and costs are reasonable and they brought up benefits, challenges, and some suggestions. Um, here I've listed some of the most important opportunities, uh, which are higher quality design and deliveries and less energy consumption, revolution in current public tendering process, uh, automated, trusted, and verifiable system, introducing diversified uh, income streams, and the most important challenges are limitations in today's law and regulations, difficulties in developing new relations and expectations in participants, lack of digital standardization in the industry, and data privacy. Um, so the contribution of this thesis is uh, conceptualizing the whole system prototyping while there are very few prototypes uh, in this field, testing, gathering feedback from the um, some stakeholders and identifying the limitations. The limitations are um, in detail and um, lacking. Uh, so there is no summer scenario in the smart contract currently. Um, we have data privacy problem. The system is not fully decentralized as it should be. And then um, the structure in the construction company is not captured. And um, yeah, the performance evaluation is not very detailed. And based on these limitations, we will have some future works to do. Um, thank you everyone and thanks especially to Jens and Daniel for helping me.